In 1960, the U.S. Congress established the East-West Center to strengthen relations and understanding among the peoples of Asia, the Pacific, and the United States. Since then, more than 50,000 students, journalists, teachers, government, and community leaders have participated in East-West Center programs focused on building a peaceful, prosperous, and just Asia-Pacific community. Thanks to support from the U.S. government, other governments, organizations such as the Freeman Foundation, and people like you, the Center's programs are thriving. Before I came here, I just, I don't know, I, I thought that the way of life the, the, in my country is the best in the world. That's how I thought before. Yeah, and then I found there, there are many differences between China and U.S. and other countries. The opportunity that I'm getting right now, which is pursuing my master's degree in public administration, is a very rare opportunity for women coming from my country. Before coming here, my knowledge of uh, the outside world was very limited. I'm a monk, a Buddhist monk. I studied in a Buddhist monastery. Coming here, it has been a very different world for me, a very different experience. As a journalist, I want to help the Chinese who don't have such a chance like me to go outside of China to understand different groups from other countries. Israel Center gave me such a good opportunity to do that because they gave me a, such a great community to learn different friends. They came from a different area of Asia, from America, from Pacific Islands. Because of what I learned from Israel Center, I believe I will be better journalists in the future for the understanding between China and the rest of the world. And I think that is what Israel Center is trying to do too. It's not, it's not something tangible that you can show to people, but it's something it's within yourself, it's inside yourself, how, you, how coming to East-West Center transforms the way you look at things. The East-West Center really opened opportunities for me as a U.S. student, and I think that's very critical. The opportunity for U.S. citizens to come out and participate in the Center's programs um, is just as important as uh, bringing people from Asia over to study. Asia is now very important for the U.S. and the relationship between China, Japan, U.S. is very crucial. I'm an educated person in England and also in a primary university in the Philippines, but don't have really an idea what is American cultures and values. I meet American people back home, it's just a tourist Americans, and we don't have a chance to share and you know, talk to each other and get to know more each other and experience their cultures. To be here is an outstanding, it's an opportunity for me to mingle with Americans and know who they are and their cultures. And to be honest, it's, just a, sort of, it's a sort of enlightenment for me. The relationships that you build at the East-West Center really fundamentally change you. You know, you see the world as one model and you come here and that model is entirely wrecked and you have to rebuild what the world looks like. And I am very thankful actually to the East-West Center for giving me all these opportunities to um, explore myself. You know, look into avenues, areas, which I didn't want to explore before, but actually by doing that, I realized more about me and more about how I could go give back. My experience here is wonderful. I, I feel very fortunate that I belong to one of the thousand and thousand members of East Stress Center alumni who live around the world. One person is a great power, but if you have a big support behind you, or if you have a circle of people who have the same vision, I think it uh, helps more to achieve your goals, and especially for such a small country like Kyrgyzstan, where you can still make a difference. The cross-cultural skills we develop at East West Center make us much more effective. Whether we go into international business, as I have, or choose to pursue careers in government service, teaching, or journalism. In effect, as a result of our shared experience at the East West Center, we become human agents for positive change around the world. You know, it's been said that uh, this century is the Asia-Pacific century, and, and I really believe it. You're going to see issues like population and health and economic growth issues arise and, and come to the forefront in this region. And it's so important to, to prepare 
for that. And especially in a place like Hawaii, which, is, which has so many different cultures and so many different immigrants, um, foreign news is, is, is important. You know, um, what happens in the Philippines or what happens in um, China has an impact on what happens here in Hawaii. And to have people from Asia, from Indonesia, Malaysia, Vietnam, who've had real world experiences with things like avian flu, and to have them share their experiences and their challenges with us, the information that we acquired, the knowledge that we were picking up from this seminar could actually save lives. This place makes you or forces you to some extent to live in the same place with those people. You know, your countries might have conflicts, but it forces you to live together. They end up thinking of each other, not as a nation, but as human being, as people. You know, you're just like me. If you boil down the Iswa Center to its very core, it is all about cultivating the ability to see issues and problems from the other person's perspective. When I go back to Japan, maybe I teach in, in university level, so I can talk um, from my experience with Chinese people, American people, and Korean, and other Southeast Asian people, can maybe um, contribute for the better understanding about the neighboring countries. The realizing the difference and deepening the un understanding the differences is a way to bring the people close, bring the people together. Because these are people that will be a future leader and a future manager, a policy maker. The East West Center is really like a laboratory for human relationships. It's, it's a microcosm of how the world should or could be. Another thing that amazed me a lot is the, when I first came here last year, and I didn't, I didn't see the wall. It's a symbol of openness, you know. That's the different, the first difference that I saw. <laughs> well, I, I, I talked to myself, oh, this is a really open place. <laughs> That's Eswa Center. Regardless of religions and belief, either you're Muslims or Hindu or Christians, we have a shared responsibility to protect the world. And I think I learned that from Eswa Center. It's very important for us to open our eyes to the world. I wish that um, the world is uh, mm, it's like the stress center, uh, and like um, all of us, the people all over the world living like us here in the town, like in harmony. Like. You can't put a price tag on that kind of contribution to the world when I think that the work of this center, the East-West Center, may be making a more peaceful and stable world for my children and grandchildren. That's an exciting thing to be a part of. Thank you. Thank you very much. Rahmat. Thank you. Thank you very much. You've opened the world to me. <laughs> <laughs>